Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam and we have to find out the support reactions, the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this is the overhanging beam with a two concentrated load of 2 kN and 4 kN. So these load acts at a different position of the beam. The, all the dimensions of the beams are given to us. So there are two support reactions, one is A and one is A here and one is B. So we have to first to find the support reaction. So let's consider the support reaction are acting here in the upper direction, R A and R B in order to support the loads. So to find out these support reactions, we can use the equilibrium equation here. For example, the equilibrium equation of moment at any point equal to zero. And let's consider the moment at point A equal to zero. And let's suppose assume that clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. Now, all the moments, all the loads that creates a moment about point A in clockwise direction will be taken as positive and anti-clockwise moment will be taken as negative. So starting from this end, RB, B end, which is RB reaction, so it moves in the upper direction and creates the moments like in this way, but in anti-clockwise direction about point A. So in anti-clockwise direction it means it will be negative. So it will be minus RB multiplied with the moment term because moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment term. Force is RB but moment term is the distance from B point up to A point which is 2 meter plus 2 meter 4 meter. Again this load will create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction so it will be taken as positive so plus 4 multiply with the moment arm moment arm is the distance from 4 from this point up to this point which is 2 meter the last one is this force which creates the moments about point A and this also creates a moment in anti-clockwise direction about point A so it will be negative minus 2 multiply with the moment arm which is the distance from this point up to A which is 1 meter so, sub so submission of all the moment about point A equal to 0. Now if we shift this value to the right side, we will get it positive. So it will be 4RB will be equal to the 8 minus 6. RB comes out to be if we, sorry, it is not 6. It is 2. This one is 2. So 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 4RB if I divide this 6 by 4, so we got Rb of here 1.5, 1.5 kN. So Rb here is 1.5 kN. Now how to find out Ra? This support reaction, we can simply use the equilibrium equation again, but here summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. Let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Now the upward forces are R A and R B, R A plus R B. Downward forces are two and four. These are acting in downward direction, so they are negative. Summation of all the forces equal to zero. Just simple mathematics. So R B we know that one point five. So we will put this value. So it comes out to be. If we shift all these values to the right side, it will become positive, and R B will become negative, which is one point five kilonewton here. So R A comes out to be. If we solve this for R A. It comes out to be 4.5 kN. It means here the support reaction is 4.5 kN. So now the support reactions are known to us. We have to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram. So now this one reaction we see it here 4.5 kN. This reaction we found out comes out to be 1.5 kN. So now after knowing these values, we can simply draw the reference lines for the shear force diagram and for the bending moment diagram so here this will be the reference lines for the shear force and this will be the reference lines for the bending moment now to draw the bending moment and shear force we knows we knows all these support reactions so just starting from this end we are starting from this end this is shear force in the unit of kilonewton and this will be bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So starting from this end, this is zero zero region. 
So this 2 kN is at a distance of 1 meter. So at 1 meter, we don't have any load. So the this load will start here at this point at 1 meter from here and it will act down minus 2. It will act down minus 2 kN because it is acting downward. So it will be minus 2. And then there is no load acting on the beam here at this region. So we will draw it straight line like in this way and then there is a load of 4.5 kN acting in the upper direction so this minus 2 was acting downward plus 4.5 is acting in upper direction so we got here what is the value here so it comes out to be 2.5 kN so it means plus 2.5 so we will bring this into positive direction because upward is positive this below the reference line it is negative so it is plus 2.5 kN now again there is no load on the beam so it will be a straight line and then there is a load of 4 kN acting downward so it will be again negative plus was here plus 2.5 we got now minus 4 because it is in acting in downward direction so what we got here is minus 1.5 so we will bring this into minus 1.5 and now there is again no load acting on the beam so straight line and then there is upward force of 1.5 so minus 1.5 we got and plus 1.5 we got 0 so we will close this box so now this is the shear force here it is positive these are the negative this is the shear force diagram now we can draw the bending moment diagram for from this shear force so how so we can find the area of the shear boxes and it will be bending moment diagram for our bending moment so for example this is one shear box with the negative values so the, this is a rectangle so we'll find the area of this box which is let's suppose a1 so a1 rectangle is breadth into height so for example breadth here is this length we know it is one meter so one multiplied with the height which is minus two so it comes out to be minus two so minus two kilonewton meter is the value here at this point minus two kilonewton meter movement here at this point now this is again shear force rectangle 2.5 meter 2.5 kN is the height and 2 meter is the length of this rectangle or width so A2 will be equal to the 2.5 multiply it with the length which is 2 meter so we got the area of this rectangle 5 which is actually the min, booming, bending moment value 5 kN meter so we will add this to this minus 2 because it was negative so now it is positive so minus 2 plus 5 we got plus 3 so it comes out to be plus 3 here at this point plus 3 kilonewton meter it should be kept in mind these values are the moment values now the last one is this rectangle which is let's suppose a3 so width into height this width we know is 2 meter 2 into minus 1.5 so we got here minus 3.5 minus 3 sorry this is minus 3 so the area of this now we will add this to plus 3 so plus 3 minus 3 we got 0 it comes out to be 0 at this point so this is the bending moment diagram here if we draw it like this this is bending moment here and this is a negative direction for this beam with the concentrated loads so I hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for overhanging beam and you can apply the same principles in order to find the shear force the bending moment diagram for any kind of beam. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.